Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Pezzy. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make smooth slow motion within Sony Vegas and Af Adobe After Effects. Alright, so with further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so I have my clip and, uh, well, m most of it at least. I'm just going to go back and get the clip. I did this tutorial a couple of times. I'm sorry for this. I'm just going to take a few seconds. One more. One more. There we go. Alright, so I have my clip right here. Um, it's just a little no scope I got today. It's not it's not good at all. But oh well, it will do for this tutorial. Alright, so what you want to do is that you want to create a uh, loop region around the, the part that you want to render out for slow mo. I'm going to make sure that I have it the first, the first fire thing, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so what you want to do is that you want to make sure you want to go to uh, your clip, right click it, and go to properties. And make sure that you have disable resample on. What that does is that it disables ghosting. And ghosting is basically where, let's say you're zooming, like zooming up with a scope or something. It and uh, basically it will look like there's a gun following it like it's a delay of your scope going up behind it and it looks really weird especially when you twixter it uh, twixter is the thing that you're gonna have to need for this tutorial it's a plugin for Adobe After Effects and if you guys don't have it I'm sorry but you're gonna have to go find it uh, like look it up yourself because I completely forget how to install it because I did that probably two months two three months ago Alright, I'm sorry about that guys though. Alright, so let's get right into it. So just render out your clip and make sure that you render with the loop region only on. So let's say like tutorial. Alright, render out. And now I'll just open up into After Effects and delete these ones prior to this one. Alright, so I think this is it. No, I have not imported my footage yet. I don't think I have at least. Alright, so go to import footage and import your tutorial or whatever you named it and just drag that into a new comp. So now you just have your basic clip with nothing done to it. Woo, that's so cool. Alright, so now what you want to do is that you want to go down here and you want to click on this little button right here and if none of these buttons down here are showing up what you want to do is you want to click on this uh, toggle switches and modes thing you just click on that and then it'll appear with all these alright so you want to click on this and what it does is that it enables frame blending and it will just make uh, Twixer look a lot better instead of warping the footage as much and then go down here to the same like icon thing right underneath it double click it twice so and if you double click it twice it'll just make it a little bit better All right. so click on your footage and go up to effect go down to revision plugins this will be where Twixter is located and go to, go to Twixter 4.5 or whichever version of Twixter you have alright now that you have Twixter on it'll start to kind of warp your footage now, if you have an HTTP VR or Blackmagic Intensity Pro, you kind of have better, you have more of an advantage to making your footage look better because you can have a higher frame rate. What this does is that it makes it a lot less warped. All right, so what you want to do is you want to go up to Input Frame Rate, and uh, if you have an HTTP VR or Blackmagic, only the people that have that, you want to change it to nine. I'm fifty nine point nine four zero, and I don't know if you. All right, yeah. Here I'll show you. Four, and I forgot how to go forward. So, on no read. Okay, it's control. Okay, and that's how you do it. All right. God, I'm talking to myself too much. Okay, so go down to speed, and this is how you slow down your clip. And I'm gonna put it down to like three, four, three point five. Yeah. All right. So 
Now your clip is slow mode, but you only have like 12 frames or however long your clip is. To fix this, what you want to do is that you want to go up to your composition and then go down to composition settings. And just change the duration of the clip a little bit longer. I'm going to put mine to around 5 seconds. 5. Alright. And just zoom out on the timeline. And, uh, but you're all good now. But you can't, like, drag the clip longer. What you do to be able to do that is you can click Control Alt T. Or you right click on the clip. You go up to Time and Enable Time Remapping. This allows you to drag the clip for as long as you want it. Alright, so let's go to the point where the clip looks like it ended. Alright, end a little bit past before that. Well, instead of having to render all that, I'm just going to pull the clip down to there. Alright, so now that you have your clip all ready, and you can now go and render it out in uh, the render queue, just add it to render queue and you're all good just render it out alright when this is all done I'll show you guys the final product and uh, you guys should know enough how to fix everything up in, uh, in um, uh, Sony Vegas hopefully at least